How to Win Friends and Influence People is a self-help book written by Dale Carnegie and first published in 1936. The book has become a classic in the self-help genre and has sold millions of copies worldwide. It is a practical guide for improving social skills, building self-confidence, and becoming more influential. The book is divided into four sections, each containing several chapters that cover specific topics related to social skills and influence. In this summary, we will provide an overview of each section and highlight the key lessons and takeaways. Section 1. Fundamental Techniques in Handling People The first section of the book focuses on fundamental techniques for handling people. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of understanding human nature and treating others with respect and kindness. He explains that people are motivated by their desires for self-preservation, self-expression, and recognition. One of the key lessons in this section is the importance of avoiding criticism and instead giving sincere and honest appreciation. Carnegie explains that criticism is often counterproductive and can lead to resentment and defensiveness. Instead, he recommends focusing on positive reinforcement and praising others for their strengths and accomplishments. Another important technique for handling people is to show genuine interest in others and listen actively. Carnegie explains that people appreciate being listened to and understood, and that active listening can help build rapport and trust. He recommends asking questions, showing empathy, and avoiding interrupting or judging others. Section 2. Six Ways to Make People Like You The second section of the book focuses on six principles for making people like you. These principles are based on the idea that people are more likely to respond positively to those who make them feel important and valued. One of the key principles in this section is to become genuinely interested in other people. Carnegie explains that by showing a sincere interest in others, we can build strong relationships and create a positive impression. He recommends asking questions, remembering names, and showing empathy and understanding. Another important principle for making people like you is to smile and be friendly. Carnegie explains that a warm smile and friendly demeanor can create a positive first impression and help put others at ease. He recommends being approachable and open-minded, and avoiding negative or critical attitudes. Other principles in this section include remembering and using people's names, being a good listener, and making others feel important by acknowledging their achievements and contributions. Section 3 how to Win People to Your Way of Thinking The third section of the book focuses on techniques for persuading others and winning them over to your way of thinking. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of understanding others' perspectives and needs and using empathy and diplomacy to build consensus. One of the key techniques in this section is to avoid arguments and instead focus on finding common ground. Carnegie explains that people are more likely to be persuaded by those who listen to their concerns and offer solutions that address their needs. He recommends using diplomacy, tact, and compromise to build consensus and avoid conflict. Another important technique for winning people over is to appeal to their self-interest. Carnegie explains that people are motivated by their own desires and needs and that by showing them how they can benefit from your ideas or proposals, you can increase their interest and enthusiasm. He recommends using examples and stories to illustrate the benefits of your ideas and proposals. Other techniques in this section include admitting when you are wrong, using praise and appreciation to motivate others, and appealing to people's sense of pride and desire for recognition. Section 4. Be a Leader how to change people without giving offense or arousing resentment. The fourth and final section of the book focuses on leadership and how to inspire and motivate others to change their behavior. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of leading by example and creating a positive environment that encourages growth and development. One of the key principles in this section is to praise others for their improvements and accomplishments rather than criticizing their mistakes. Carnegie explains that positive reinforcement can be a powerful motivator, 
and that by praising others for their efforts and achievements, we can create a positive environment that encourages growth and development. Another important principle in this section is to give others a sense of ownership and responsibility. Carnegie explains that people are more likely to be motivated and committed when they feel like they have a stake in the outcome. He recommends involving others in decision making and giving them a sense of autonomy and control. Other techniques for leadership include being a good listener, providing feedback and guidance, and leading by example. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of setting a positive example and being a role model for others to follow. Overall, how to win friends and influence people is a timeless classic that provides practical and actionable advice for improving social skills, building self-confidence, and becoming more influential. Carnegie's principles are based on a deep understanding of human nature and emphasize the importance of treating others with respect, kindness, and empathy. Whether you are a student, a professional, or just someone who wants to improve their interpersonal skills. This book is a must-read.